Hello everyone, I have created a project on the topic named Entity Recognition uh, which is a part of the Natural Language Processing that is NLP So, for, before jumping onto the project, uh, I would like to give you a quick overview like what is actually a named Entity Recognition So, it is a part, uh, it is a subtask of information extraction It is used to find and classify the named entities present mentioned into the unstructured data uh, that is the present into uh, predefined categories such as the person names, organization locations, medical codes, time and exponential values, etc. Uh, so, my project title will be the named entity disease recognition from a given clinical text or document. So, for creating this model, I have used a data set named as the BC5 CDI data set, which is publicly available uh, and it is uh, mostly used for the biomedical purposes. So, in this BC5 CDI disease data set, uh, there are four TSE files present in it, uh, named as the devil, test, train, and train devil. If I open this train.tsv file, all these TSV files are in the format of the, are in the bio format. That is the B stands in bio, in bio B stands for the beginning of the beginning entity, I stands for the inside entity and O stands for the outside entity. So in our model, we will ignite all the outside entity and our main focus will be on the beginning of the beginning of the entity and inside of the entity that is it will be get named as the beginning of the disease and the inside of the disease in our model so the main draw format of all the dsv files is like the word then tab and after that the label and then new line so after that i will just show you my project which i have done in the jupyter notebook so first of all i have imported the required libraries which we need to have for this project so the first library which is prominent, prominently the most important library for this uh, project is the spacey so spacey it is a free open source library uh, which is used for advanced natural language processing in python uh, it is designed specifically for production use and helps you build applications that process and understand large volumes of text uh, it can be used to build uh, information extraction or natural language understanding systems or to pre-process text for deep learning and uh, along with that some other uh, libraries which i have used is the random uh, that is it is an inbuilt module of python which is used to generate the random numbers and numphy it is a python library that is used for working with arrays uh, then pandas pandas it is a widely used to data analysis and manipulation library for python so these are the four important libraries that we used into our project also the transformers you can do an identity recognition with uh, other many libraries present into in in python such as the nltk standard NER tiger or there are many two or three i think but uh, the efficiency of spacey is far much better than the others also, the code complexity of Spacey is less as compared to the other libraries which are present like, like in NLTK libraries and all. So, Spacey, that's why I chosen Spacey over other libraries. So, after that, we will jump to the coding part. That is, first, we, I have created a function through which uh, through which we can we convert we will convert the TSV files format that is the first which I have mentioned previously uh, that the format means the word then space after that the labels that is the BIO we, we need to change that according to the spacey like we will convert the TSV files in the array which will be in the form of the uh, sentences after that the ent uh, entities and after that the span span means the start and end of the word start and end numbers of the word and after that the label that is the b disease or i disease etc so i've just mentioned all this and i have done a slight change that is the i have renamed the i disease i from the bio format as i disease and for b disease uh, for b i have renamed that in it i have renamed that as an uh, b disease so after running this function 
I have just uh, uh, loaded all the TSV files from the bc 5 dc data folder and uh, along with the help of the uh, above function that is the load data spacey I have uh, loaded all the train.tsv, test.csv and train development.csv so after uh, running this command it will convert all the TSV files into the required spacey format that is which I mentioned before that is will be it will be in the form of uh, the sentences and after that entities then after that the start and start and end of the word start and end span of the word and after that the label that is it is whether b disease or i disease it has been done for all the words present into the tsv files procedure from uh, after this step will be different like uh, if you are working with the previous version that is the spacey version or uh, spacey version 2 then you have to create create many functions to train your model like uh, for creating a function for precision recall and f1 and also for the training purposes uh, but in uh, spacey but in spacey version 3 that i am using in my in my project so in this uh, we don't have to create that much function we just need to create one function uh, through, onto which we need to create documents using a pipeline of spacey and uh, you need to load the blank spacey pipeline so in this uh, i have created a blank spacey and also the dog binary blank spacey module and also the dog binary and uh, we have created a and we have created a span a uh, span of all the entities and the spans and the spans are added into the entities after that the entities are added into the doc entities and after that finally it will all get added into the doc binary and after adding, add, adding into the doc binary it will just uh, we will just save that save all that into our disk named as the train.spacy so we will just follow the same procedure for the vary.spacy also like uh, we will we will create a span of the entities and the spans are added to the entity list and uh, that all will be get added to the doc after that uh, we will just save that as the name varit.spacy after running this they, it will create two uh, two spacey for two spacey or document named as the train.spacy and varit.spacy into your folder after that we need to create a base config file as the spacey provides a cli tool so through which we can create a base config file all we have to do is go to official website of spacey onto which uh, we need to uh, get uh, uh, do some configurations like uh, we need to add components of ner because we need for we need for name native recognition so i have selected ner and hardware will be selected as gpu transform as we need gpu tra transformer also into our model and we will choose uh, optim optimize for efficiency or accuracy so we will choose efficiency over accuracy because we required effici more efficiency in our model so after doing this configuration we just need to simply download this base config file and uh, it will look like this base config file into this uh, you will see the pipeline equal to transformer and ner and all the other default configurations are present into it we don't need to have we need to we don't need to do any changes into it uh, after that we just need to simply uh, run this command onto the jupyter notebook that is python hyphen in spacey in it fill config paste config uh, and simply we just uh, we need to create a config file from this base config file for our model we will just run that part uh, base config file after that uh, the base config file will get generated into our into your folder and uh, it will look like this and to this we will, you will see some new uh, features uh, features have been added like the components of ner and components.ner.model also the components of transformer but uh, in, in this config file we don't need to do any some any changes we simply need to change the app maximum epochs like uh, what is actually epochs uh, an epoch it is a term that is used in the machine learning that it indicates the number of passes of the entire training data set uh, the machine algorithm has completed 
data sets are usually grouped into the batches uh, especially, especially when the amount of data is very large so uh, we are working with the large amount of data so it will just divide our data into the small batches uh, like maximum epochs will be 10 10 per uh, per batch so after 10 epochs uh, after t- uh, highlighting 10 epochs it will just uh, it will just display the 10 epochs which we have highlighted and after that it will just restart the whole process so after running this uh, we just need to train our model by writing this command to the, as python and pc train config.cfg we, we will, con- we will uh, uh, take our config.csv uh, cfg file and we will save the output in the folder named as the ner demo training and the paths we will give as train.spc and valid.spc which we have created above so after training after uh, running this command uh, like it will train our train our model as uh, as uh, the training uh, training depends on the con- pc configuration like uh, i am working uh, in the in the i5 processor with 8 gb ram so it took me allow, around 3 hours to uh, to complete the training of the model so after 3 hours of it it finally got trained successfully so after training uh, we just need to check whether uh, our training model is working fine or not so we will just uh, run, run a command uh, which is the we will load a spacey that is the model based spacey this is the model last which we have trained and we will try we will running the model best uh, model best part so the model best will have the less flaws into it less flaws into it so we will just come on uh, pass the test data onto the test sentences and uh, so to test whether our train data is running uh, properly or not so after running this part it will just uh, test all the data present into it so the table which have been created here will tell you about the training models f1 score also the precision score uh, and the uh, recall score so basically uh, what is precision score precision quantifies the number of positive class predictions that actually belong to the positive class uh, recall quantifies the number of positive class predictions made out of all the positive examples in the data set and f1 score measures provides a single score that balances both the concerns of precision and recall in one number so the f1 scores have been calculated on the basis of the true positive false negative and false positive so what is true positive false positive and false negative true positive means the word predicted as either uh, i disease or b disease and present in the data set as either i disease or b disease is called as a true positive and for false positive uh, word pre- predicted as either i disease or b disease and are not present in the data, data set as either i disease or b disease are called as the false positive and for false negative words pre- words present in data that is the train test or validation data is either i disease or b disease but not predicted as either i disease or b disease it is called as the false negative so f1 scores are generated on the basis of this three concepts so our efficiency score was around 91.31 so after training this uh, after testing this model we have we can see the output as as the in sentences the diseases are marked as the p disease i disease and p disease etc like your torsid is is marked as the b disease d uh, d pontes ventricular tachycardia is marked as the i disease and so on so after 10 epochs uh, it just prints all the diseases which have been highlighted onto the sentences along with the span of the words and along with the labels so this is what epochs do into our tra- into the training and testing model so likewise all the data has been tested and trained accordingly although the there may be some flaws into the model as the efficiency score is around 91 percent so there there is some flaws around nine percent into our model so if you increase the max, uh, maximum epochs amount then it will uh, then the efficiency score will get much better like uh, if you take maximum epochs as 15 or 20 uh, like spacey provides the higher efficiency as compared to the other 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 libraries also so that's why it is used for the advanced 
natural language processing and for AI modules. And after that, I have just uh, used this uh, model based for for checking or for for tagging the single sentences, single sentence, not onto the entire data set. So I just loaded the model based, and after that, I have passed the sentences sentence onto the doc, and after that, just uh, I displayed it. So it will just highlight all the diseases present into it like postural SB disease, hypertension as I disease and Parkinson's disease as BII disease. Uh, so in Parkinson's disease, it's like uh, it has marked the Parkinson's SB disease and other the single quote IS and disease as I disease. Uh, like in other other libraries, this has this will not have been marked as the I diseases as it will come under the I disease, but there are some flaws or like you can say they cannot uh, the other libraries cannot able to identify it identify this as the disease but spacey identify it along with better efficiency so this was my project on named entity recognition thank you